Hi, my name is Trisha. And I'm Sabal, and we're from the Rise for Blue campaign. We are a team of four students who created this campaign in order to help spread awareness about the global issue of human trafficking. We felt like this issue wasn't talked about enough within our community, especially with young people in our generation. So today, we spoke with Abigail Hours, who is the Director of Communications at the Treasured Vessels Foundation. The Treasured Vessels Foundation was made to help build secure homes that operate as residential treatment centers for minors who have been rescued from sex trafficking or sexual exploitation. Please continue watching in order to learn more about our campaign, as well as the Treasured Vessels Foundation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Abigail Hours. I'm with the Treasured Vessels Foundation, and I am the Director of Communications. been on staff for two years. Human trafficking is simply modern-day slavery. It's an epidemic that is happening worldwide. The International Labor Organization estimates that 40.3 million individuals are enslaved in our planet today. Human trafficking can be defined as the use of force, fraud, or coercion to obtain some type of sex act or forced labor in exchange for something of value. Treasured Vessels Foundation is an organization dedicated to helping youth and minor victims of sex trafficking. We will have two phases of long-term rehabilitation. First phase will be ages 18 to 24. It'll be all female, we'll have tiny home community. And the second phase will be for girls 9 to 17 who've been rescued from sexual exploitation and sex trafficking in North Texas. We'll be providing them long-term care with wraparound services, medical and dental care, safe place to stay, continued education, and everything that an individual needs need to thrive um, in the life outside of sex trafficking. Sadly, human trafficking is something that affects people of all ages, all backgrounds, races, everything. In Texas specifically, the, the average age of a victim of human trafficking or sex trafficking is 12 to 14 years old. Um, 79,000 minor and youth victims of sex trafficking are here in the state of Texas. And to get even more specific, in DFW, 400 underage girls are being sold for sex each night in Dallas. And that was a study done by the Dallas Police Department in 2011, so we can only estimate that the number has grown. Um, as young people, we should be educated and aware of what human trafficking is and what it looks like so that we can help not only those who are around us, our family and friends, but also prevent ourselves from being trafficked or exploited ourselves. The best thing to do if you suspect somebody is being trafficked is to report it to the National Human Trafficking Hotline. If it's a child or somebody your age, the best thing to do is first of all call 911 and report an emergency if it's very evident that there is trafficking involved or some sort of exploitation. But the best thing to do, if you see something, say something. Um, a lot of times I think we're afraid to say something because we don't want to be wrong or what if it's not really trafficking? Well, what if it is? What if you have, you have the potential to be the one person to save somebody else? I think one of the most challenging aspects that we see personally is that there's really no good long-term placement for these people to be able to re be rehabilitated long-term um, and just to hear the stories and see them a lot of times fall back into the cycle of exploitation it can be challenging. At Treasure Vessels Foundation we have helped individuals in their teens as well as people up into their 40s on street average. About a year and a half ago, there was an individual that we were connected with who actually passed away. Um, she was murdered after having been trafficked. Her traffickers connected with her online. They built a relationship. It was pretty simple back and forth. She thought she was talking to a man and she ended up meeting up with him and it turned out to be a woman who later used the pictures and the things that she had sent to them um, to kind of exploit her and manipulate her to do things that she didn't want to do. And then as a young person, she went through with it because they had threatened her with killing her younger sister and she was very protective of her so she decided to go through what they asked um, two weeks later she was rescued and she was taken back home but she because of the abuse and trauma that she went through eventually ended up being re-exploited again and by re-exploited i just mean she was sold for sex and then she decided to fight back and she actually ended up being murdered and she was stabbed and then she was later found at white rock lake in dallas um, and i think stories like that are what would get me because i remember being a young person as well um, I remember being 17, um, and to think that that just happens right down the street, it's, it's shocking and people don't talk about it. And we need to be aware and um, cognizant of what's actually happening and talk about it, but then make a difference so it doesn't happen again. 
Human trafficking, um, a lot of people think that it's just being hit on the head and stuffed in a trunk and maybe chained to a wall, but it's so much more complex than that. Um, less than 10% of individuals are actually kidnapped and trafficked. A lot of times it happens online through technology. Um, traffickers are smart and they know what they're doing. They're smart businessmen and women. So a lot of times they'll exploit individuals through Instagram, through Kick, through Snapchat, through different online um, social media apps. And so it's important that we are aware of who we're talking to online. And a lot of times people that we think we're talking to, they're not necessarily who they say they are. So be smart on social media, use apps and only talk to people that you actually know who they are. And then also don't send pictures of yourself that may come back and bite you. And a lot of times traffickers will use certain pictures to eventually exploit you and try to get you trapped in something that you may not want to be trapped in. I think there's three things that everyone can do. The first thing is to raise awareness, and that's huge. We can't fight against human trafficking if we don't know what it is. So I first encourage people to learn about human trafficking, but then also share what Treasure Vessels Foundation is doing. Add it to your Instagram story. Share the Facebook post if you have Facebook. and um, Retweet something on Twitter. The second thing you can do is volunteer your time with organizations like Treasure Vessels Foundation or other organizations that are doing something to fight against human trafficking. And then third um, is donate. And it's something that sounds simple, but even $5 can make a difference. Giving up one cup of coffee a month from Starbucks uh, really does make a difference. So I think those are the three things that you can do to raise awareness and make a difference. We hope you enjoyed this video and have learned more about what human trafficking is. Be sure to check out the Treasured Vessels Foundation website and their social media platform. Also, be sure to follow the Rise for Blue campaign on our Instagram and Twitter to stay updated with what we are doing to spread awareness as well as our upcoming events.